What's happening everyone? Jay Shock Blast here and check it out. We got this package today finally from the Good Smile Company. Uh, this is one of their Figma figures. Figma number 509, Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, I am super excited. Uh, already have dog hair all over this package. I ordered this, gosh, so long ago. I want to say it was like November of 2020. And it took forever to get here. But it's here now. And this is the second Jin Sakai item that I have. I actually have the Funko Pop right here. Uh, I have one in the package as well. But uh, this is, there aren't many, you know, Ghost of Tsushima items available. Um, actually, I think I have um, like a stuffed animal too. But in any event, uh, this is what we're working with here. Okay, there's the side of the packaging. And then there is the back of the packaging. I want to say this was $89.99. I might be wrong, um, but I had to have it. The thing about it that I don't love is that I can already see it is a little bit about the same size as like a Marvel Legend, maybe even a little bit smaller, okay? Um, but it is what it is. And I've got this massive statue coming uh, that I ordered. For, I think it's Prime One that makes it. I think I spent like $1,300 on it. Uh, so that is supposed to be coming soon too. Um, obviously COVID being what it is, a lot of stuff got delayed. Uh, so that is why uh, this took forever. Uh, the packaging is really weird. I don't love it. Like I'm trying to be gentle with it. Cause like, I do like saving it, uh, but there we go. All right. Oh, look at that. It's got a little bit of a... I think that's the map, maybe? So, uh, there you have that. Oh, look at that. In the inside, you've got Ghost of Tsushima. And that is the map. That is exactly it. Sucker Punch uh, did an amazing job with this game. Easily one of my top five favorite games of all time. It is the reason to own a PlayStation, or especially a PlayStation 5, now that it's on PlayStation 5. Uh, so we're gonna go lower down here again. And as you can see, two different mask face, uh, faces. You've got, you know, the maskless and the mask. But, all right. This is like vacuum sealed on there practically. All right. Um, so we have whatever this is. It looks like it's a plastic bag. I don't know. Got instructions, Figma, Jin Sakai. So it tells you right here. Oh, I think that's the stand. Nice. So he's got a bow and arrow. Uh, he's got a couple swords, a short sword, a long sword, kind of a dagger, a couple different hands. Oh, the mask face is actually just a face that goes on over it. Uh, to give the cape a worn appearance, refer to the package inserts. And then this is the uh, Japanese version. All right, so. First of all, let's look at the figure, all right? Here it is. A little bit of a plastic right here. Um, I think this might be my second of these. I feel like I have a Deadpool one. Might be my third. I think I have a Deadpool, and I think I have a Mandalorian. Um, so these are pretty high detail. It's very expensive. Okay, that is the number one thing I don't like about it is just how expensive it is for what you get. And as you can see right here, the face itself comes off. So we're gonna. I feel like I, I want to, I have no problem putting that face on, but I also want to feel like there's like plastic underneath here that I need to get off and it does not want to come out. You know what I mean? <laughs> so there's like this little itty bitty piece of plastic. There we go. All right. 
It looks like there's plastic around the sword right there too. I'm actually gonna leave that alone. Look at that, it's so weird. All right, so you got this Jin Sakai face and then you've got his like kind of Oni mask face, which we're gonna go ahead and put on. Maybe. I don't know that I love this style, but in any event, uh, it's like a big G.I. Joe, essentially. Uh, it feels very brittle. That's my biggest fear. I do absolutely hate it that they put on the fist hands, like the most useless hands. They are not alone in doing that, like a lot of companies do. All right, so you got this bow which has no string. And then you have an arrow. And you have the three swords. And you have this bag right here. Oh, that has some hands. And it actually has the stand. So what is this thing? It's like a bag that you put it in weird okay all right well let's uh go ahead and open these i might skip ahead all right you got the stand right here all right so there's a little peg on his back that now makes a little bit of sense that is for the stand very interesting because we need to get hands that can hold something. Oh, I bet that they do the bag so that you can put all the accessories in. I don't know. But in any event, there is another piece right here. I don't know what that's for. All right, so you got the hands. They come on a little bit of a rack. So that one comes off doesn't feel like it's all the way on, but in any event, Ooh, the sword is actually very sharp. We're gonna give him a long sword. Um, So this is kind of like default armor. So, yeah, pretty cool, man. I am going to go ahead and finish taking him out and doing what we're gonna do with him. And I'm gonna switch to my iPhone for the camera uh, so you can get some cool video without me. Uh, but this is from Good Smile Company. I'm sure you can get it just about anywhere that these type of action figures are sold. I'm sure we're gonna start seeing it in stores soon as well. Very happy to finally have mine. And let's go ahead and take a better look at it.